Hey guys, welcome to day 320 of playing Persona for Golden in real time. Now, there's still that month-long gap, so in the meantime, we're continuing to play through Persona 4 Dancing All Night. So, let's go ahead and get dancing. Proceed. Alright, okay. let's see if Yukiko yeah, can go. save us with her dance moves. I think I'll enjoy this. Good luck, Yukiko. I'm here with you. I didn't notice those notes. Alright, not bad. Nope, gotta get that saxophone out. I don't know what we do with these, like, Persona dollars, but, you know, I'll take them. Now, let's proceed with the story. Let me guess, it's gonna say it's so beautiful, and it never gets old. Oh, okay, I guess we're just skipping past Thank it this goodness. time. It looks like they understood me. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. Yukiko breathes deeply and walks back to our side. Delicate, elegant, and somehow defiant, it was a beautiful dance that embodied Yukiko herself. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! Oh, man! That reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date! Huh? You did? When was that? 
Oh, never mind. Forget it. I already learned not to expect anything. So, you've poisoned them as well. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain. But you gotta find someone who will hear you out and show them the real you. Yeah, you have to put the work in to improve their social links. They really are interesting. But you don't get it. Do they, Timurai? The more you act as yourself, the farther you push people away. You know that better than anyone. Have you ever been loved even once? Who you truly are. Alright, this eerie you voice is trying to cut to deep. Isn't that right, I... I'm... Tomoe-san steps back and shakes her head in both denial and terror at the voice's implications. Tomoe-san looks more frightened than I'd expect. Which means, just like with Tomami-san, the voice is deliberately going for her deepest insecurities that we don't know. Do you really I mean, I think we know them now. You're the leader. If nobody loves you, how can you protect anyone? No. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! On it. Feeling something bad coming, both Yosuke and I rush out to Tomoe-san. If this is just like earlier, then the instant Tomoe-san gives in to that voice, she's gonna turn into a clown! No! Okay, I guess they're getting swatted away. Ribbons from all directions knock, knock Yosuke and me away. We both hit the ground. The ribbons coil around Tomoe-san and pull her down the path. So powerful. I braced myself for the impact, but I still couldn't resist it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tomoe isn't going with you. <laughs> Damn it. Couldn't stop it. We can't give up for Tomoe-san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on, we've got to move. Yes, let's go. If we hurry, we can still catch up. All right. Well, at least we did what we could so far. Hopefully, it's not too late. After traveling down the path Tomoe-san was taken, we encounter an unbelievable sight. And we've seen a lot of weird stuff. A floor covered in bright neon, shelves lined with liquor bottles, gaudy and chintzy decorations here and there. This is... What is this place? I like how it's like, it's an it unbelievable like sight. It's like, we've fought shadows, we've traveled to other worlds. Although, I think a gaudy bar is something that we can comprehend. This looks kind of retro. Look, there's Tomoe-chan! At Shie's exclamation, we all follow her gaze. In the middle of a stage, surrounded by neon and all kinds of strange objects, Tomoe-san stands, looking up and yelling something. No! I'm not doing it because I want to! <laughs> True. You aren't the sexy type at all. In fact, you're so shy, you've never gone out with a boy. And have a hobby of yours. <laughs> Tomoe, no one needs that you. If people are disappointed, their hearts will abandon you. Holy girls, left behind by their own leader. I, I, Sumomo, Nozomi, Tamami, Kanami. Tomoe-san! Tomoe-chan! Noticing us, Tomoe-san tries to run toward us. But the voice speaks again, as if to cut her off, and Tomoe-san freezes in her tracks. Forget who you really are, Tomoe. Sexier than anyone, dominant over everyone, the mature leader. That's the you everyone wants. Here, listen to what everyone has to say. I'm 
love how she seems so seductive, in control. Like, they're supposed to be edible idols, but it feels like she's the one doing the eating. Oh, okay. It was a fat joke. I was like... That better than you attitude gives me I'm chills. still thrown off by the edible look. idols. Like she knows exactly angle. what you want. Like, I felt like that's definitely not the biggest appeal, but... These voices again! Without Tomomine, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the hots for. And that's Tomomine all over. This isn't good. I try calling out to Tomoe-san, but it's too late. Tomoe-san's lips, quivering in fear up until now, curve into a crooked smile. That's right. This is all I have. No, Tomomine! Alright, I feel like we're getting a lot of art stuff like this. It's like kind of questionable. Wrapped in ribbons, Tomoe-san only laughs sadly as black mist starts covering her body. This is just like Tomami-san, no, even stronger. The ominous presence engulfs the area and the, mi the miasma covering Tomoe-san begins taking shape. Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Why does it have to end up like this? Keep your guard up. It's coming. not true. Ignoring the hearing of the shadows suddenly filling the stands, I stand to face Tomoe-san. My gaze meeting the two cold glowing eyes behind the giant butterfly mask, I yell out at the monster. Let's say... Let's say don't hide yourself. That's not true. Tomoe-san, you're just hiding behind someone else's desires. Yukon is right. Maybe nobody has understood you yet, but you can't give up that easily. Watch me, Tomoe-san. I'll hmm. show you what it means to express yourself. All right, get him, you. He's Don't like, let me talk to her in a language she'll understand. I need Pop and lock it. Loud and clear, senpai. Okay, here comes the beat. Let's do this. Play the music. All right. Sure. Sounds like it's gonna be a pretty intense dance Don't battle coming up, song. but it's we're gonna save this for next time, and so we'll pick up there tomorrow. But for now, that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to shuffle time. Okay, today's card is the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. So let's go ahead and see what fate has in store for us. The Six of Pentacles means, uh, means that you are in a position where you have a good relationship with your income. Like the main figure in the card, the amount of money that, you're, that you bring in and your expenses are balanced well, and you are fortunate enough to not have any stress. You are also grateful for all that you own and can happily share your wealth with others. As you can tell from the imagery in the card, the Six of Pentacles can be about charity. You can either be the man giving away money to the needy, or a beggar gratefully receiving what you need from a wealthy donor. If the card is showing that you are the giver, you have built up wealth, and you are now able to help others with financial assistance. You may have lived long enough in the darkness of the Five of Pentacles to be able to see the light. You are thinking about giving to charities or helping someone who would need, who could need your support and was in the same position you were before. The Six of Pentacles does not have to be about material gifts or money, it can also mean your time and presence. If the card is showing you are one of the beggars, you could be receiving someone else's charity. This could help you recover, so take the help. 
you'll be able to repay the kindness in the future. You may also be able to find ways of becoming self-sufficient in the future. Despite this situation, you should be mindful that you should not become desperate or submissive during this time. I think any card that's like advocating for charity and helping others is definitely a pretty good message to to like to deliver. But I think also being willing to accept assistance if you need it and do what you need to to build yourself up, get steady yourself, recenter and reorient yourself, I think is definitely something to keep in mind as well. But hopefully things are going a bit more positively than needing assistance. But either way, whatever your situation needs, pay attention to what's best in the long run rather than paying your pride before any other priorities. But that's going to be another car down and another day done. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey as I do this every day. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.